economy of the state movie tell the story about groups of national security agency agents who do a lot of crimes with the excuse of they want to protect the national security. So the main issue in this movie is abuse of power. Abuse of power refers to official misconduct for which the person used the power they have for their own personal gain. In this case, Thomas has misused his power and instructed his team to kill the U.S. congressman Hamilton due to his objection towards the counterterrorism legislation, which can expand the surveillance power of Thomas as well as to gain a long delays and anticipated promotion within the NSA. Also, they misuse their power to track the people such as the wildlife researcher Zavitz and the labor lawyer Dean who hold the video tapes of this that capture the congressman builders. Moreover, they kill the Dean's ex-girlfriend Rachel and mix him as the murder suspect so they can officially search for him. The second issue is invasions of privacy. Invasions of privacy refers to unjustifiable intrusion into the personal life of the others without consent. In this case, Thomas and his team have used the surveillance device to search for Zavitz and Dean in order to retrieve the video tab. Also, they conduct a background check on Dean's bank account and other people who have a relation with Dean. Second, Bill, who is the former expert of NSA, had invaded the privacy of Pintalo by using the pinhole camcorder to record the crimes of Pintalo and then show the video that to Dean in order to earn money. The third issue is insider dealing. Insider dealing refers as an illegal trading on exchange to one's advantage through filing to the confidential information. In order to protect his client's constitutional rights on the labor contract, Dean used the video tab which captured the crimes of Pintalo to threaten him so that he won't exert any undue influence on the labor. As their consensus is reached, Dean passed the video tab to Pintalo. In fact, such video tab is the evidence which can charge legal action against Pintalo if Dean passed it to FBI. Management about the impacts towards them. Hi, I am the staff of RCA News. I am here to interview you about the possible impact of abuse of power in your company. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear about this news. Please be sure that I was a part of the people in our company and our company as a whole. Can you further clarify the impact? Mm -hmm. Sure. The abuse of power would implicate our employee who involved in the crime. They might lie under the legal section such as imprisonment or your fine for exam. Aside from this, is there any impact to your staff? Um, it might affect the quality of the employee. In this case, Thomas and his team do several crimes with the excuse of the want to protect the national security. It gives a perception to the employee that they can use the power to protect the national security by hook or by crook. Not only that, the abuse of power can result in poor work performance of the employee. Because Thomas has a high power as compared to his subject, so they might influence by Thomas and forced to apply by his instruction, even if it is unethical. Is there any impact towards the relationship in people in your company? And definitely, this issue may devastate the hands of trust between people in the company. The people who misuse his power for unofficial purpose has drastically affected the trust and confidence of the director and the other management to the Oh, I see. So how about the impact for your company as a whole? To summarize, you mentioned that this issue might lead to an unhealthy culture that encourages the abuse of power. The employee might follow their footsteps in order to protect their own personal gain by using the existing power. Second, it might bring shame to NSA and stain its reputation. Third, the power corruption might lead to the misuse of company's resources. They might misuse their power to use the company resources for illegal purposes and without a proper authorization and thus lead to a loss to NSA. It seems like this issue has led a huge impact in company. 
So the company tried to take any action to solve or to mitigate the impact of this issue? Um, yes. Our company will hold a special meeting to discuss the possible solution for this issue soon. Obviously, the management of NSA has provided us the detailed and meaningful information on the impact of abuse of power. So our session is come to the end. Thank you. Hi all, our company has faced the issue of, of abuse of power recently. So we are here to discuss about a possible way to solve this problem. So do you all have any ideas? In my opinion, we should take immediate discipline and legal action against the person who misuses their power. Ms. Aisha, can you explain for this? For discipline action, we shall make a punishment or termination for the person who misuses their power. There is a good mechanism to warn and deter them. Besides, the legal action shall be taken against them. According to the Section 33 Malaysia Anti-Corruption Commission Act 2009, any officer who misuses his power commits an offence that level to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 20 years and a fine. Hmm, I, to I totally agree with Ms. Asha. If this care is not public opinion toward our company, besides that, I think our company can improve controlling mechanisms, check and balance system. Um, what do you mean of check and balance system? Oh, what I mean by check and balance system is that it serves to check any possible abuse of power in our company. It comes out in a form of proper authorization, proper situation of power, and verification. For proper authorization, we can use party department authorization and it requires authorization of CEO for any important things. To make it clear, let's look operating and inventory. For example, it needed approval operating and inventory manager to use their inventory, right? Next, for proper segregation of power, we should also ensure the use of effective segregation of powers for each unit of company to prevent the concentration of power. We can see that the operating and stock keeping units should have their own responsibilities to avoid any misconduct due to power concentration. Yeah, I agree to miss that. Um, from verification, the person in charge should reveal and check the validations of the related documents. For example, they may check with the authorized person who, to avoid the signature forgery on those documents. Yes, I agree too. Aside from this, we can refine our recruitment process to get the right employees with strong integrity characteristics. For example, our HR shall conduct the face-to-face -face interviews with the applicant to carefully evaluate them and do the background check over them to ensure that they are clear of misconduct record. Hmm, it seems like a good idea too. So, that, does anyone have a better idea? Hmm, I think we should encourage the whistleblowing inside and outside the company in order to mitigate the issue of abuse of power. Hmm, sorry to disturb. May I know what is whistleblowing? Whistleblowing refers as the act where an employee of an organization accuses the employee of illegal misconduct. I think we can conduct, uh, we can adopt the whistleblower policy by referring the Whistleblower Protection Act 2010. This act provides protection to the whistleblower who voluntarily come forward to report or review the information on corruption activity. So I think we can provide reward to the whistleblower and the identity of the whistleblower keep confidential from any party to protect them from intermediate action. Actually, the Act also provides the immunity to the whistleblowers from any legal or disciplinary action due to the revealing of the Act of Corruption. So we, should, uh, so, we should let our employees to be aware of this in order to encourage whistleblowing. It is a brilliant idea and I would like to add some more. In my opinion, we can also cooperate with the MACC who serve as the government watchdog group in its effort to mitigate this issue. Excuse me, Mr. Bilal. How should we cooperate with them? We can partner with them by conducting a seminar or workshops to combat the corruption in our company. Mm -hmm. This might deter the people from misuse his power and it also create awareness towards the employees on their responsibility to disclose the corruption activities. So it might alleviate the abuse of power. Mm, Alright, thank you for all your ideas. So I think it's time to close our meeting. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.